Hi everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch today. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and I'm so happy that you're here today. So I have a Dollarama haul for you all today. And this one is, um, it's not big, but it is strictly stuff for my craft room so let's just i just got it sitting on my kitchen counter right now so let's just straighten this up a little bit and i'll show you what i got so the first thing look at all of these um there are one two three four five six seven of these baskets and yes you heard that right seven of them so i have one already um i bought one when I was at Dollarama the last time, which was, or not the last time, the second last time, which was way before Christmas. And the new shelves that I got to store things in my craft room hold two of these perfectly side by side on the shelf. So by getting seven more, I can do four complete shelves of items in my craft room I have eight of these bins and yeah let the organization begin I'm really excited about that um, if you have no idea getting things organized in my craft room is my primary goal this year I want that place to start working like it's a place of business um, I want to be able to just know where stuff is and put my hands on it so I was at the yeah look at these paintbrushes guys look at them these are pro painter paint brushes they have polyester bristles they're for latex and water-based paints and i got a one and a half inch and a two inch and i'll tell you these were a dollar 25 each and i was recently getting painting stuff at the hardware store and i can tell you you don't get these at the hardware store for a dollar 25 so if you need paint project or paint items for a project coming up go and hit up the dollarama um that yeah now these are good brushes too these are really good brushes let me pull that off these bristles are full and soft and um i've used these before they hold a lot of paint these are decent brushes i mean i'm not a professional painter but for projects around the home great great quality for this price definitely and while i was there for a dollar 25 i picked up one of these pro painter rollers because yeah um <laughs> same thing ideal for ceilings and decks and walls and anything that you can think of any medium textured surface this will work on and it says here that these are for um latex and alkyd paints and yeah so basically anything you're going to paint your house with so that is that i picked up a correction tape a dollar 25 i'm telling you this shopping haul the first part of the shopping haul was kind of like shopping in um dollar tree for me because everything in dollar tree in canada for the provinces that have it is a dollar 25 and yeah so i also picked up one of these uh clear i've never tried these before these are it's just the crafts brand um clear like transparent glue so they had this and the, all the four ounce bottles were a dollar 25 and they had this and they all had the same label they said clear glue completely transparent um multi-purpose non-toxic which is really cool if you have anybody in your craft room doing stuff and yeah it's always nice to have an extra paint or an extra glue for somebody else if they're crafting with you and i do have grandkids so a dollar fifty for this one but i thought this was actually a pretty decent price so i picked this up it's haute couture 
Um, <laughs> it is, it's got the needles in the, you know, the little thing on the top. Uh, it's got the dial, the little thing. Yeah, the little thing. It's got the dial on the top that you turn so that you can just get your one needle out. It has, as far as I can see in there, it actually looks like it has a little sewing kit in the middle. So I should probably open this up and let you guys see what's in here. Um, let's see if I can get this open. This was a buck fifty, and um, a lot of times when you're traveling, you don't have a needle or a thread. And okay, let's go around the outside. So this is threads. It doesn't have a ton of thread on each one, but it's got white, yellow, green, a cream color, a dark brown, pink, uh, a beigey brown, a lighter green, a red, a blue, a black, and another red, different shade of red. So that's what's in there. Let's pop this off. So we have all of your threads. There's this tiny little pair of scissors. There is this measuring tape. There are this is really worth the dollar fifty. There are safety pins, buttons, a needle threader, a thimble, and even some snap closures in here. Like, yeah, I'm not kidding you. That's all in this little bag. Thimble, needle threader, buttons, safety pins, snaps, and a thimble. Like and scissors, a measuring tape, and one, two, three, sorry, thimble, measuring tape, scissors, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve different colors of thread. It all fits into this little container, and the lid snaps on, and you've got needles. Like that's that's a sewing kit for a buck and a half. This will probably live in my suitcase. Um, now that I've seen what's in here, this will probably live in the corner of my suitcase for sure. So I picked this up. It was a dollar fifty and it is just this blue sand. I have an idea for this. And I've had these before, and I will probably buy them again. They come in white, yellow, pink, purple, um, orange, I believe. And I can't remember if there's any more colors. I'm pretty sure that's all the ones that I've seen them in. But these are great for added little touches to pro projects. And I seem to be attracted to these yellow ones with the little dark gold centers. Because this is the third time I think that I bought these. I don't have any left now, but now I've got those ones. I have been on a paintbrush kick lately. So um, I just want to explain myself a little bit. Um, I got to the point where I had bought a bunch of cheap paintbrushes and I hadn't bought any for so long that I went to get a paintbrush one day and I didn't have a paintbrush. Like I didn't have a paintbrush that the put uh, the metal part that was holding the bristles wasn't wiggling back and forth or that had been washed just one too many times and all the paint hadn't come out or that I had left it sitting at the side of my craft table um, and forgot to put it in water or wash it right away and then couldn't get it clean. And yes, I do that. Um, <laughs> I get mad at myself every time I do it, but I do it. So this little set right here is from Crayola. And I know it's a kid's brand. Um, there's no price on this. So just let me look aside here. I think I have my... Let me see... 
paintbrush set was four dollars but this has four of the detail four of the detail right and four wide flats and four of these medium rounds but these are a fairly big I mean for a round brush that's fairly big for me but yeah all the journaling days I want to spend doing things or if I decide I want to paint rocks um like who knows I might want to paint rocks but yeah so to have extra paint brushes um I'm not ever going to run out again <laughs> But I just thought for $4, this is a really, really lovely set. Really lovely. So, you're watching me just go through all of this stuff. I picked these up. Um, these hook and loop dots, they're just Velcro dots. Velcro dots. Now, I have some white ones, but... When I saw these, these were $1.25. So when I saw these, I thought I really should have some for um, when I'm doing a project that has dark colors on it. Because I've tried to paint these so that they would blend in and you wouldn't be able to see them. And they're hard to paint. So, so I have some black ones. I picked up two of these. These are $3. Are these fabulous or what? Um... Yeah, these are three bucks. They're wood, like real wood. They're fairly sturdy, like fairly sturdy. I can paint these, put something really decorative in here, and they even come with the little hooks to put them up on the wall. So two of these, these and they call them decorative shelves. That's what they call them decorative shelves two of those those are going to look fabulous um i'm telling you i have nothing on my walls here and when i keep I, I, like I'm, I'm making lists and racking my brain and trying to think of what things do i have at home not at home but at the other house that i need to bring out here um for the walls most of my stuff that's out there is not going to go very well in this house i have a very eclectic feel out there um kind of a mismatch of a lot of different things more of a um hand me down family cottage type of vibe out there and i'm going for more of a old farmhouse yeah, Grandma and Grandpa's old farmhouse. That's the look I want in here. So these are going to look nice, painted up, farmhouse style, and something nice in them to go on the walls. So I'm going to set them over there, and then I'm going to show you this. Um, it's plastic, and it's a tray, and it's just white. It was $3.50. And it doesn't have a size on here, but this is huge. This is a full tray size. Now, normally the things that you get at Dollarama or Dollar Tree are on the smaller scale, but this is a full side, a full sized, really sturdy tray. So I have an idea in mind for this, but I bought, they had it in different colors as well. I can't remember off the top of my head what the colors were. I think they had a blue one and I'm pretty sure they had this in black, but I got it in the white again because of that farmhouse feel. And I'm thinking that this will just make a nice tray for the top of whatever I decide to put on my coffee table, whenever I decide what my coffee table is going to be. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I haven't got one yet. Um, and it's, it's a distinctive space and it's going to take something. Um, I'm going to have to probably think outside the box to find a coffee table that's going to fit this space just right. So I got that. And along with that whole look, I picked up this. It was $3. This is, I'd say this 
is two liters. Um, at least two liters. And the, it's got in the relief here, it says quality here. It says established in 1841 across the bottom. And then on here it says refreshing ice cold drink. And it says glassware. And it's got this almost like a crown jar shaped um not a crown um a shield shaped piece on the front here and it's on both sides so yeah i'm thinking with just a little bit of work that that may be a really nice farmhouse piece of decor and i have one more item I picked up this. This is the metal. It was four bucks. This is heavy. Um, this is not thin wire. I, I tried. I couldn't bend this in the store. So I'm thinking that this, I'm going to add a little paint to it, I think, because it's not the color that I want. But yeah, this is going to make a piece of farmhouse decor that's going to look really, really nice too. So I'll do this up. Um, I'll do this up. I'll do the shelves. I've got a project for the blue sand in, in uh, an idea for that. Um, I have a painting project that I have in the house coming up. I'm going to make over my mud room probably towards the end of June because I have two weeks that I'll be away and when I come back I'll be in quarantine and I'll work on my mudroom when I'm in quarantine. So yeah, that's my haul for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and um, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day everybody. Stay safe and bye bye for now.